Okay, we're gonna do a little game. It's called the Hollywood Hot Seat. Cool. I'm gonna put you in it. So it's a series of questions. First thing that comes to mind. Ready? Acting, singing, or dancing? Uh, singing. Read the book or see the movie? See the movie. First celebrity crush? Bow Wow. Oh, nice. <laughs> What's your go-to karaoke song? Oh, Scrub is a guy, Scrub is a guy that thinks, thinks he's fine, is also known as a buster. buster. You better know those I'll words, girl. About what he wants, but just sits on his broadcast. Oh, oh, no, I don't want to know. She knows the stuff, <laughs> y'all. Yes. Dude, I was a fan. I was a fan. <laughs> that is off the hook, girl. I don't want no Scrub. Scrub is a guy that can't get no love from me. One D or the wanted? Oh, One Direction, One Direction. Okay. Hey, Harry. Hey, what's up, Harry? One way or another, I'm gonna find ya. I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you one way or another. Waterfalls, no scrubs, or creep? Creep. Okay. I'm gonna have to go with creep, even though thought... my girl didn't have a solo. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna have to say creep for that one. I love that dance. <laughs> what is your biggest pet peeve? Oh, yeah. That. I just hate when the mouths move, the clamping of it, and when people eat. I just I feel badly because I don't want to be like, can you please close your mouth? But it's like, I don't know. I feel if, like you'd be one like, to say that. Would you say it? No, <laughs> no I, would like, 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 I would like, honest about it. I would like try to make a joke, and I'm like, girl. And then hopefully they get the message through that. <laughs> but how about your nerdiest obsession? I've kept all my cards since like my sweet 16. Like any card oh, that anybody cool. gives me, I keep all my cards up and like they're like all piled up. And then I also have all Four of my journals from when I was like 13. Do you ever go back and read them? Yeah. And, I read, and I'm just like, girl. Sometimes I'm like, dang, I forgot they did that to me. <laughs> and then other times I'm like, now you know you was tripping. <laughs> and, then, and then other times I'm like, wow, I really played that guy. <laughs> How about your biggest splurge? Well, for my um, 18th birthday, I did a 20, was it 20 year? Was it 10 or 20? I did either ten or twenty thousand dollars shopping spree. You know, you gotta do. You, know. I, you gotta have fun sometimes. Totally. My mom always tells me that Life's because short. I get really worried. I'm very much of a worry wart, and um, I guess it comes with my sign. I'm a Virgo, and we're very like obsessive over things. So I try to be really responsible all the time. And my mom's like always telling me, you have to relax and you have to enjoy yourself. You have to work, but you totally. have to play too sometimes. You know. How about your all-time favorite movie? All-time favorite? Ooh, this is a hard one. I'm just going on a limb and say Save the Last Dance. Oh, nice. The biggest insecurity? My hair. Really? Yeah. You have such pretty hair. <laughs> Girl, this ain't mine. <laughs> this my, tricked you. This isn't mine either. <laughs> you tricked me. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> we tricking each other and the crowd. <laughs> How about your motto to live by? We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act, but a habit. So it just always reminds me that if I want to be great, then I have to do great things. Your actions speak for who you are. You know, you can't tell, I don't listen to what people say as much as I see what they do. It's like if you're telling me you're this way, you're this way, but every time I see you, you're the other way, then I'm going to believe your actions versus what you say. How about an awkward date moment? So my first date that I ever really went on, it was with this guy, and he came to my house like with a bunch of his friends. Like I didn't know him. Like I knew the people he came with. And I was like, this guy looks so cute. He had like some glasses on. He was just like cool little outfit. I was like, this dude is fine. <laughs> and we planned to go on a date on Monday or whatever it was. And so we go to this date, and when I tell you, I felt like somebody pulled the blinds from over my eyes. Oh, no. I was like, what was I looking at, a rose-colored <laughs> glass? Like, he turned from Chris Brown to Jay-Z. I was just like, this is not the same guy. And it's like, it's not not what I had my heart yeah. set on. It's like, it, you know, I just it was envisioning someone else. And so I, like, tried to live the date out, and then everything started going wrong. Like, oh, no. some fans came up to me, and he was, like, trying to save me from my fans. Oh, and I'm like, no. you're doing too much. I was like, <laughs> just stand back. Just it's stand okay. back. That's okay. I don't mind. He's, like, trying to protect me and stuff like that. I'm like, I don't need protection. It. <laughs> Lastly, what are three fun facts about you that not many people know but would be surprised to know? I like to, I pick up things with my feet because I have really big feet <laughs> nice. and I can control my toes very well. You can't see what them size? too easy. I'm a nine and a half ten. I always bite my jaw. Like you'll see actually, and like if you look at any of the movies that I did and you see the behind the scenes, you can catch me doing like this or like this. I love to um, do people's makeup. Oh, nice. I love to do That's people's fun. makeup. You know, I, I just think it's fun. It's just the coolest thing to me. I like makeup because I just like That's to fun. look at, uh -huh. turn them into something. Like, I remember one time I did my friend's makeup, and when I tell you she's already, I mean, she's a beautiful girl. Mm -hmm. It's not, you know, I really was, it was nothing I had to really do. But I did her makeup, like, I really glammed her out, and she cried. And that, I think that's that's so sweet. I think that's what makeup and hair people, they feel like. When you really take somebody to the next level, it really makes them feel so good inside. Thank you so much. This has been so Thank much you. fun. You're such a blast. Thank you so good much. So are you. You're fun, you know, Midwestern girls. You know, we stick together. Yes. We stick together. Hey, this is Kiki Palmer, and you're watching hollywire.com.